let's get going. Um, I can't post my pallet tonight up here in its usual spot because I need a, a big pallet, a big glass pallet for these techniques. I hope you'll enjoy uh, what we're going to do. paint roller it's a brayer it's for printmaking but great for painting with as well let's see how this works left of center uh, this is to steady the nerves look at that lovely mark All right. would help if it was vertical I suppose to take you uh, into the street to have a walk along and look at the uh, the night lights of a metropolitan city so what we need to do is work out where we are and this is the first thing to think about this line or a bit lower I think that line there and that's where we are in relation to what you're about to see. Isn't that great the way it goes on? The brayer is fantastic for this, especially for um, you know, our modern age with all the the vertical buildings of a big city. <clears throat> this is a, a straight edge, flexible. And I'm working in oils. I'll be using knife. I'll be using brush. And essentially, it's an underpainting technique. For tonight's painting, I'm using an overly smooth surface rather somewhat smoother than I might normally use but it's great it should show you the underpainting technique really well this is the way I often start complex townscapes and cityscapes with an underpainting the underpainting implies that there's an overpainting of course there is But I've developed this technique tonight to turn the underpainting into a finished piece. This line that we're um, I'm thinking about, this is our eye level. And for perspective, I've got the perspective in my mind. If we're standing in the street, let's say we're standing about there, observing the uh, surroundings, there'll be a perspective for everything that's receding away. And these are the perspective lines I'll be using. See everything trending towards a vanishing point here on that side. So anything that's receding and parallel has to conform. To that, uh, that relationship. Now, there's a birthday shout out tonight. Sue, are you listening? I think you might be Sue Barlow. Happy birthday to Sue. She's been watching these 
since the start and it's great to have to know that I've got at least one person in the audience although I suspect there's a few more and it's been really good your support that you've given to these paintings this smooth surface means that you can use wiping out techniques It's a, a very smoothly primed acrylic would do the job, and then I then I've sealed it with uh, with a sealer, and for the sealer I could use my usual medium, just to to make sure that the absorbency is rather um, less than usual because uh, it'll it's got this great capacity for re-exposing the ground, and the ground you'll see is is it's not a it's not a pure white. See how you can create these block forms for the city at night. Here's my perspective. Let's use a brush as well. Take some of these out. Really dark. How you can give an impression of complex rectilinear form. I'm not saying it's the Empire State, but uh, it could be the Chrysler Building. So I've given the game away, haven't I? NYC. And it's dedicated to one of Anna's friends. It's Katie. Mid-afternoon for you, Katie, if you're watching. There she is, locked down in New York. I could think of worse places, but of course, New York's been suffering, much as anywhere else. And so she's all there by herself. Say hello to your friend, Anna. Hey, Katie. <laughs> See, I've got. I, I've, I couldn't do this without the help that I've got, and Anna's there on hand. Fantastic uh, assistance, and Sean, making sure that uh, technically not too struggling with this in terms of the filming. Uh, I expect this will take me well. I've been going. Just over five minutes. It's going to take me half an hour. But I mean, you'll forgive that if I'm taking on something as complex as the big city. So thanks for watching, Katie. This is for you. The, the dedicate tonight's action on the canvas to your location. Putting in some warmth here. We're going to put the lights on tonight. Bring out the razzmatazz. Be splashes of colour appearing. It's a humble piece of mount board here. Remember that perspective? I'm supposed to be aiming to here with these. Make sure I get that right. It's quite a steep angle. There's these towering architectural forms rise up.
suppose you won't mind a little bit of silence. We'll just listen to the paintbrush as usual. It's the Zen bit where we just listen to the paint going on. This paint's very creamy, very fluid, a pasty kind of paint. And I'm using up some colours. So the palette is partly selected on the fact that I've got lots of colour in the garage that I uh, can in, uh, in storage and I might as well use some of it. So this is Prussian blue, yeah, which is a fantastic colour, but I've not had it on my palette for a while. But it's going to be great for these uh, Rhapsodies in blue. see these splashes of orange light I suppose that's the sky and what that will do I hope is give me a tremendous sense of the light glowing up from the city the, the dark sky of the evening the buildings, the lights etched against the sky. The Prussian blue will be really good for this. It's got a little bit of umber in it, but watch how the lights will start to come on. As we take out the, uh, the competition of the canvas Now that orange light, the idea is that's going to react with the dark sky and give me the glow of the city at night as it uh, begins. The, the, the light starts to flicker up from the buildings and the, the activity. Of course, my idea is to paint New York in all its glory without lockdown. So there's gonna be people milling around you might get a hint of green there, but look at the lovely graduating qualities of oil paint. Get that night sky to glow. How's the glare looking? Are we okay? Just checking with the, uh, the crew back here. So I can't see what you're seeing. It looks all right from where I am. So look at the orange. graduating into, well, it's like a Naples yellow with orange, graduating into that Prussian blue. Cutting into the buildings. These lovely velvety colours here. I'm conscious not everybody's a painter. And it's entertaining anyway, I hope. But um, one of the aspects in painting is trying to throw the focus where you want it to be. So you see these towering vertical skyscrapers rising up. You see how they disappear into the sky. Absolutely perfect if you get them to do that. So it's difficult quite to 
make out building against air. And that's just as it should be. Trying to draw the attention into the painting. Consequently, I can use a fairly dull mixture of light. This would be illumination inside the buildings. This is more of an ochre. Any of the, uh, the windows still lit up shall be weakened. And as we come to street level, they shall be strengthened. And they'll draw the focus where I want it to be. So I hope you can see a canopy appearing there. We're intending to return to New York at some point. The last visit, I didn't bother to check online and I went specifically, one of the reasons I was going there was to look at the American art in the Met. And of course I get there and the American galleries were closed for refurbishment. <laughs> All that way and it didn't work out. But it gives me an excuse to go back. But uh, what we did, this is uh, sort of out of my head, this, it's, it's just a memory, it's a memory, of course, I'm familiar with the iconic status of New York. Everybody's got some idea about it with the number of times it's in films. So I've sort of made, this is in my mind's eye. But I'm reminded of a place we absolutely loved. Our hotel wasn't so far away from a little park called Bryant Park. And it's much, a, this is sort of how it, it is in my memory. The public library was over on the right. And it's a fantastic classical building. That. But um, Bryant, Bryant Park had a terrible reputation in the 70s. Nobody dared go in it. She wouldn't come out alive. It was one of those sort of spots. But by the time we got there, it was beautiful. It was, um, it had been civilized. And it was just a small park, but it was surrounded by these towering buildings. Fantastic um, sense of the community and people playing chess through the day. And twice a week in the evening, there were classic films. Absolutely wonderful. We used to have breakfast there virtually every day. And it's just, a, I'm thinking of Bryant Park here, but uh, don't check it on Google because it won't be that accurate. It's just a memory. I'm not too concerned with the accuracy of this. I want just to take you through how a painting might be put together with some sense of dramatic light. That's the priority tonight.
Now, are we ready for some light? It's about time. See, the ground was toned a little bit, which means any opaque light touches will resonate. It's not only do they have the tone of the paint that's got on, they're going to kick out against any bits that I've re-exposed. So we're going for neon. We're going for vibrancy of colour. We're going for sparkles and glitz. No show without punch. Have you recognised him yet? Mr. Myers, Dave Myers. <laughs> He's come a long way. He's got his beard on commercial products. That's that is some established position in society, I think. Great friend from uh, school days, Dave. I think we're in competition tonight. He would be, wouldn't he, with his 10 million viewers. What are you doing, Dave? Don't you know I'm on? Thumbs. Fantastic care. Uh... For putting in little motifs, little figures. Shadowy figures seen against the light. Look at these heads, they've got to be on the eye level, if you're on street level. Just an occasional flicker of light on the shoulder. The figure rim lit against the, uh, the glowing neon.
what is New York without the traffic? to start wrapping this up but, uh, I'm going to just play up the light as much as I can lots of it clean brush few and far between Need some jaywalkers. Too tall. And with distance, the figures, the heads will stay the same, but they'll be more diminutive and the feet will rise up because of distance.
let's get back and see what we've got. Fast and furious, but there's some techniques that I might very well bring to bear, mostly for an underpainting, but there's some opaque colour as well. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll, uh, of course, take a picture of it and post it as soon as I get the chance. But uh, thank you for your company. It's been great. Um, chin up, Katie, in New York. We'll see you soon.